Welcome to this next video segment where we're going to look very specifically at the acronym TIP. This is an acronym that's used in dialectical behavior therapy to try and control some of our own behaviors. So consider this, you're at your emotional breaking point. Maybe the worst thing has happened or maybe it was just the last straw in a series of things. This skill is going to help you calm down and get off that edge where you're feeling in super intense. So let's look at them. The first one is temperature. So when we get Stress, stressed out or emotionally aroused, one of the things that happen is our temperature actually increases. So if you're finding yourself feeling warm, just take a second to splow some, to splash some cold water on your face, hold an ice cube in your hand, go outside and let the car's AC blow on your face. It's a very simple technique. Changing your body temperature will help you cool down, both physically, but more importantly, emotionally. The second part of the TIP acronym is intense exercise. So you should do some intense exercise to match your intense emotion. You're not a marathon runner, that's okay. You don't need to be. Sprint down to the end of the street, jump in a pool for a few laps, or do jumping jacks until you've tired yourself out. Increasing oxygen flow helps decrease stress levels. Plus, it's hard to stay dangerously upset when you're exhausted. The third technique we're going to talk about is paced breathing. Even something as simple as controlling your breath can have a profound effect on reducing your emotional pain. There are many different types of breathing exercises, so if you have a favorite, you should use it. But if not, I'll introduce you to one called, the, called box breathing. So if you can, take a moment to get yourself into a comfortable, relaxed position. Take a few deep breaths to start. Take a deep breath, hold it for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, and then hold for four seconds. And you keep doing this rotation in a box, fo focusing on your breathing pattern until you feel calmer. Steady breathing reduces your body's fight or flight response, which is what you're feeling when you're stressed out and perhaps going to reach for that piece of food that you know you actually don't want. The final part of TIP is called paired muscle relaxation. The science of paired muscle relaxation is fascinating. When you tighten a voluntary muscle, relax it and allow it to rest, the muscle will become more relaxed than it was before you did the tightening. Relaxed muscles require less oxygen, so your breathing and your heart rate will slow down. Try this technique by focusing on a group of muscles. Let's say start with the muscles in your arm. Tighten the muscle as much as you can for five seconds. Then let go of the tension. Let the muscle relax and you'll begin to relax as well. Those are the four uh, techniques that are used in the distress tolerance skill called TIP. It'll bring you a step closer to trying to find your my wise mind where you'll be able to make a constructive choice and cope productively.